Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know you can now donate to me on my Patreon page. It's really easy and you will receive a shout out in the next few videos. Don't feel like you have to donate, but it would really help me out. Thank you and enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's up? So, as requested, I am making a video um, just to show all of the RCs that I have. This, this is my uh, Macintosh Classic, by the way. Okay, so let's start off up here, um, upstairs in my studio, with uh, the DJI, DJI Phantom 3 Standard. Um, if you're gonna buy one of these, make sure uh, you look into the Phantom 3 SE, which just came out, because uh, I think that's a much better bang for your buck. Now, moving on. And this is where I film, except my brother stole my table. And here is my RC airplane, the uh, Horizon Hobby Stratocam. Um, I have yet to make an FPV with it, but it does have that little camera. So I'll probably be doing that sometime next spring or maybe winter, we'll see. So guys, I learned a cool editing trick, so watch this, they can be two of me. Hey, come here. So let's start the video, shall we? The first RC we are going over is the Axial SCX-10 Trail Honcho. So this is a four-wheel drive crawler. Um, I think Axial has actually discontinued this, which I find interesting because I like it a lot. It's really reliable and uh, fun to drive. So this is an aluminum chassis here. You can hear the difference there. This is an aluminum battery tray. You just put the battery in and strap it down with the Velcro here. This is um, the, all the gearing, for lack of a better word, transmission, even though it's not multiple gears, different speeds. This is the drive shaft running down the middle to both axles. Um, this RC does have locked diffs, so you can see I cannot turn the wheels freely. Um, they all have to be turning out once. And like, if I flip it over here and I turn one wheel, they all turn. So this is the motor, this is a brushed motor. Uh, I'm not exactly sure which one it is. Um, I would tell you, but I think it's all covered up here. Yep. This is the uh, waterproof, water resistant ESC. And then there is a uh, water resistant receiver case right here. I did upgrade the uh, steering servo on this. It's a uh, Savox servo, waterproof one. Um, very powerful, uh, works quite nicely. This also does have two red LEDs in the back here, which uh, will turn on and stay on the whole time along with these two uh, LEDs up front, the white LEDs. So, moving on to the next RC. Our next RC is also a four-wheel drive crawler. Uh, this one is uh, much, much bigger. Uh, both are one-tenth scale though. Okay, this is the uh, Axial Wraith. This is a uh, uh, present my parents got me for 1,000 subscribers. This is known as a rock racer. So basically it goes pretty quick. It is brushed, but it goes pretty fast, much faster than uh, the Trail Honcho. This also has working front and back lights. R working front and back lights. Um, this is not really upgraded at all. This just has the stock tactic servo. Um, Everything else is stuck. This is really not designed to come off at all, so I can't really show you anything. Um, I can just kind of go like that and flip it, but this is in the way. Everything else is up under here. Um, so that's really all I can show you. Obviously this is very, very tall, really good for crawling. Probably good for jumps too, considering the speed. And uh, this is uh, one thing they do a lot, uh, really well. One thing they do really well in this RC is the interior, how realistic they make it look. So if I bring you guys in here, you can see every little, all the little details in there. They have all the shifters and switches and stuff. Um, the seats, these are racing seats, you can tell because they kind of hug the person riding in it. They have a little steering wheel here. And the switch to turn it on is kind of in an awkward spot right down here. Battery goes back here, um, so 
everything else is kind of hard to see. Like I show you the front here. Uh, you can maybe see a little bit in there, probably not. Show you the back. Here's the motor peeking out right there. Um, really not much to see again. So that's about all I can show you with this. Um, this does not have an aluminum frame. This is all plastic. But um, I, I, I'm actually kind of surprised about that because this one you think would be taking more of a beating than the shell honcho. But uh, either way, it's still plastic. Plastic is relatively strong, especially when it's this thick here. So moving on to our, our next. Moving on to our next RC, the Tractus Telluride. This was actually my first hobby grade RC, so this I would have to say is probably one of my favorites. Function wise, I would not recommend it. I didn't really know what I was getting into. I didn't know much about the hobby at the time I got this. I just thought, oh, it's an RC. It'll do RC stuff. It'll crawl, it'll race, it'll do whatever I want it to do because it's an RC. But the thing is, this is not designed to crawl. It's just designed really to go fast on rough terrain, like maybe on gravel or something. So it's really nothing special. And especially for the price, I would not recommend it. If you wanna get something that races, buy a Slash. If you wanna buy something that crawls, buy the TRX4. But as a beginner RC, I guess it's not bad. Um, but again, for the price, it's not the greatest thing. So let's go in here. This is our Traxxas brushed Titan 12 turn motor, the uh, waterproof XL5 ESC, uh, steering servo, and the receiver in the waterproof receiver case. Now when I got this, I did do the upgrade of uh, putting these four front lights on here, which tend to act kind of strangely sometimes. So our next RC is the Traxxas Ford Mustang. This is uh, my newest RC. I got this probably about a month and a half or two months ago. Um, one of my favorites for sure. Uh, it's mainly because my favorite car is the Ford Mustang. So this is obviously an on-road car. If you try to do off-roading with this, good luck. Uh, the tires are extremely, uh, well, there's like no grip there, just enough to grip the road. And there's basically no suspension travel. It's like on the ground. I actually will, uh, this thing kind of goes flying when you hit a rock. So this is the same system as the Traxxas Telluride. We have the Titan 12 turn motor, XL5 waterproof uh, ESC, water, or, uh, waterproof receiver case, receivers in there. But what's different about this is uh, the servo is actually down underneath the receiver case. One thing that I like about this a lot more than uh, the older Traxxas RCs is all you have to do is push this down and this pulls out. You put the battery in and then it just clicks into place. Whereas you had to use like a body clip on the old ones. Um, it was like a body clip, but the end was curved upwards. And you'd stick that in and then it would hold it down. So this is a lot more convenient. Uh, that's about it for uh, this one. And this is towards the top of my list. This is the Traxxas Nitro Rustler. This is one of my favorites. And as the name says, it does run on nitro fuel. I did pay for this completely with my own money. Um, just like a couple of other of my RCs. Um, Otherwise, there were presents or um, my parents paid half or whatever. So there's, I mean, gas tank, gasoline engine, exhaust. This is a starter motor, air filter. And then there's a few like AA batteries back here that power the starter. This is the starter here. And this just has like a regular uh, six cell battery like you could use in an RC. It would work just as well. I've actually run my uh, Wraith on that battery. It just starts like that. Um, that's not too good for the RC. I'm just doing this one time to demonstrate it. But if you get one of these um, and it doesn't have fuel in it, don't try to start it like that. Steering servo. Uh, actually, no, that is the uh, gas servo. Steering servo is right in the side here. By gas servo, I mean uh, basically. So this uses the TQI radio. 
Um, and then I have these two settings. And then uh, we have steering trim and multifunction. That is the uh, Traxxas TSI, I think it's called. Um, I don't remember. And basically this is just uh, the car will stabilize itself like if you're on ice or something. So, you turn on the car and the radio is on. So there's steering obviously. Then when I do the throttle, it turns this. What that does is it actually pulls open um, a little thing inside the filter here, past the filter, and it allows more air in, which makes it leaner, which makes it run faster. But it is also putting in more fuel along with that air. So that's about it. Uh, the bottom is all aluminum, and then everything else is kind of up on top of that. And then there's this big plastic thing that holds the tank in. Much more bulky and heavier than uh, the other Traxxas RCs, but it's still actually pretty light. This tops out at um, about 50 miles per hour, I think. I think it's my, yeah, it is my fastest RC for sure. So uh, let's move on to the next one. The next RC we have on our list, believe it or not, is actually my second fastest RC. I say believe it or not because it is this small, this little 1 16th scale Traxxas Slash. Um, this was actually gotten, I got this for my birthday when I turned like 10, I think or 11. Um, it was brushed when I got it uh, and I upgraded it to the XL. So it tops out at 40 miles per hour. I used to have a three cell LiPo for this, but that started uh, poofing up. And when they poof up like that, you gotta get rid of them because they could, uh, when you use them, they could like burst in uh, goodbye RC basically. So I'm left with the two cell LiPo, which I think tops it at about 30. I couldn't really get it past 30 with the three cell LiPo. So it's not a big deal. What's kind of interesting about this is uh, the way the suspension is, it's lying down. But what it does is uh, when it gets squished down like that, this gets pulled up. This kind of rotates and that gets pulled up and that's how it works. So next is, uh, this is just a little steering servo. So this is the Valenion VXL motor. This is all waterproof by the way, the uh, Valenion VXL 3M ESC and then the receiver is in the waterproof receiver case. As you can see, the tires are extremely worn down on this one. Uh, batteries, forgot to mention the batteries go in the sides like this. You can get an adapter to run two at once and you'll get really, really good battery life. But I need a new body for this really badly. This whole thing, this whole back here is held up, uh, held together with duct tape, otherwise you'd just be flying around. This is, uh, this is also an all wheel drive RC. Pretty much all of my RCs are all wheel drive. The slash is all wheel drive. Forgot to mention that. So this is very uh, a very tight little RC. Everything is tightly packed in. There's a servo, uh, motor, brush motor, ESC. This is waterproof, which is nice because uh, I can drive it in snow and stuff. Battery goes in here. You just uh, like move, unscrew this right here, and then uh, this pops off. But you have to like get a little screwdriver to pry it off, and then you turn it, and it locks in place. So that's that. Um, nothing really interesting here. This is a good beginner RC. I would actually really recommend this, the ECX Torment. Um, it's like a, about $100 um, pretty quick. And what I do like is on the radio, there's this whole little thing. And you can actually select, you can uh, adjust stuff. It's like throttle. I can turn this down to half speed. And the RC will not go faster than half speed. So it's good to learn with. So that's this RC, uh, nothing, nothing too special, but again, really, really good beginner RC. The Horizon Hobby Pro Boat Recoil. This is a fast boat. This is a little tiny 1 16th scale boat. Um, has these things on it, which are actually really sharp. Um, my cousin's finger got too close to it and it sliced it and right down. Um, I felt bad about that. This has a big aluminum rudder. Uh, just a plastic prop. I've actually had to replace it. This is the second one because the old one was getting really beat up. So inside, you can see it's all uh, very spread out actually. So we have our little steering servo here. And then we have the receiver. Uh, this is water resistant electronics is what it said. So you have our, we have a tiny, tiny little brushless motor right here. And then we have the ESC down there, that's actually a really nice boat one. 
but this thing tops out at 30 miles per hour, which is actually really funny to see. I'll put a clip of this right here. You can see it just, it like shoots out of the water and dives and all this stuff. So it's pretty funny to watch. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this little overview. Um, I'm assuming it probably hit like 15 minutes, but we'll see. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Thank you.